Hello. Uh, it is six o'clock. Let's switch over. <gasps> no. Hmm? Can you not hear me? Hmm? Is it a bit delayed? Okay, hello. I was feeling very nervous until I see a uh, blatant void in the chat. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Can you hear me? Could you uh, type if you can hear me? About a 30 second delay. Okay, I guess that's pretty normal, right? Like, that must be quite normal. Um, hopefully this should be okay. Um, I don't know who else is here. I think... Ooh, oh, we've got three people. We've got someone lurking. Um, <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> um, cool, this is really exciting. Okay, um... Now, I was thinking about really softly playing some background music, but I don't know if that would be too much for you, so let me know if it is too much. And, or you guys could just put your own background music on if you'd prefer. <laughs> I love those emotes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, do let me know if that music's too much or if you can't hear it. Um, but yeah, so I might as well say hello now. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Jadeen. <laughs> um, and uh, this is my first stream. It's going to be a little bit of experimental today, a bit chill. I think I'm going to start drawing because I'll just keep wasting time. Um, <laughs> so basically this is a, I'm going to start doing art streams every Wednesday. Um, just whatever I'm working on at the moment, I'll just start doing live. Um, can't do it all the time though, because sometimes I do need like a bit of chill, a, you know, time to settle down and do it myself. Um, but yeah, no, this is, and today... Um, we're going to be drawing magic from the X-Men comic series um, because Mike requested it years and years ago. Mike is my partner who is in the chat <laughs> um, as Blatant Void. Um, so Mike requested I do this like ages and ages and ages ago. And I only started doing, I did this outline uh, a few months ago, actually, for the six fan arts challenge, which I never actually finished. So I figured today we just go ahead and finish that stuff. <laughs> and I'm going to start with doing magic. And maybe next week I'll finish the other ones I didn't quite finish. But yeah. So if you follow me on Instagram uh, at JD underscore arts or JD underscore art, excuse me, um, <laughs> you've probably seen this picture like way back in the feed. Um, but yeah, so this is basically what we're going to be working on today. And without further ado, I hope you're all feeling cosy and comfortable. And yeah, just gonna, just gonna do some drawing. <laughs> feel free to chat away in the chat, ask any questions, keep it light though. I'd really appreciate that. Um, keep it nice. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm taking so long to start, I'm just refreshing on some reference pictures of magic. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, keep it nice. Keep it chill. Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, whoops. Okay. Yeah, let me know. Of course, let me know if there are any problems, if there are anything you want me to change, want me to do. Um, but yeah. Let's do this thing. Let's start off with finishing off. As you can see, I've already kind of started colouring. I think I started doing that like months ago. <laughs> 
um gosh this is weirdly nerve-wracking you'd think this wouldn't be so nerve-wracking but there's this kind of awareness that people could just hop in at any moment you know <laughs> yeah I think I'll switch to a paintbrush while I colour. It's usually what I do. You know, do you guys get that thing where you script out dialogue in your head when you're going to make a phone call or you're going to talk to anyone and then you just forget as soon as you start? That's exactly what's happened to me right now. <laughs> I'm just, I had it all scripted out in my head how I was going to start this, and now I've completely forgotten, so we're just going to wing it. Good old time, just wing it. Cool. Ah. Oh. It's Animal Crossing night time sick. Um, yeah, it's the cheeky, it sounds like the cheeky 3am music. Um, <laughs> I've kind of put on like a compilation of random Animal Crossing music. Nintendo, please don't come for me. I love you. I love you so much. I buy all of your games. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that might be quite, quite chill to have on. It is a little bit cheeky, this one though, with the trombone. I think it's a trombone. This is quite fun. Oh, does she? Oh, no, she doesn't have any pupils in some pictures, so I'm not going to give her pupils, I think. Mike, do you do feel free to make any requests if, or if there's anything about this you don't like? <laughs> this is your this is ultimately for you after all <laughs> I want you to um I want you to love it so let me know if there's anything you don't like about it or you want me to remember you know This character is so cool. Like, so I've, um, for anyone else watching, I've never really read comic books. Um, they weren't very accessible to me as a kid. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, will do, but I love all your artistic choices. Aw, thank you. <laughs> um, should I, should I read the chat out loud i guess if there's more people in i should i should read be louder with what i'm reading i will remember that um yeah so i never really read comic books as a kid because i should say as well i'm visually impaired um so i might not look at the chat very often um if i do it might take me a, a, a bit longer than most people would to read it um so i do apologize for that um, I have albinism, or I'm an albino, which is fun. That comes with a, a, a whole cocktail of interesting visual impairments. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I never really read comic books as a kid. Um, my, and when I met Mike, um, Mike's extremely nerdy, which is wonderful. And uh, he uh, just like loves sharing um all of his comic book loves with me especially x-men like x-men is a particular favorite of mike's and it just really makes me wish i'd read them as a kid like they just sounded amazing um and they still sound amazing um but yeah i think what i might do to keep it interesting so it's not all just block color for a chat for i'm gonna color in each section do like color shadows highlights and then move on to the body color shadow highlights i think i'll do that So I've already done the face, yeah, cool. So what I think I'll do is bring that layer up like that. What colour are her 
opinions generally. Let's see. Um, there was, I, goodness me. That's a good one, that's good. Um, okay, cool. I'm coloring her horns real quick. Do like a dark grey for the horns. Yeah, I think I think I've told. I think I've put it on my Facebook, put it on my Twitter, put it on my Instagram. That I'm doing this. That should be enough. Oh no, this is the cheeky t t three a.m. music. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I got it wrong. This is the cheeky 3am music. It's wonderful. <laughs> I might have to get my old the six fan art challenges I completed um, I might have to get them up as references because I want to try and keep to the same style I was doing. Um, I'll sort that out in a second. Oh, hello. Someone else has popped up. Who's this? M Love. Ah, oh, got Twitch just to hop on and send my love and support. Emily. Oh, thank you, Emily. That's so kind of you. <laughs> you hopped in at a good time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, feel free to stick around, but no pressure. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. And I saw, and I'm so sorry I didn't get back to you, but I totally don't blame you for time traveling and Animal Crossing. <laughs> got to get that Halloween stuff you know very excited for the Halloween update to kick in yeah I think I'm gonna get my other pictures up as a reference just so Instagram Profile. Just 
so I remember what kind of vibe I'm going for. Well, here we go. We'll look at Midna. So I did. I did Midna. Um, I finished Midna, but I did sort of like. Um, so if any of you have played uh, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, um, Midna is like Link's, the main protagonist support character, um, and she's usually like a little imp she's quite bottom heavy like she's got a really lovely design and then um she also has like a human form but the human form is much slimmer and i was like oh what if i did like the human form but with but that's like kind of as chunky as her imp form so that was one of the other things i did for the fan art challenge um it went well until i went backwards by a month instead of forward a day and had to clean my island up oh no <laughs> Oh my gosh, Nintendo love to punish you for that kind of stuff. Oh, bless you. Oh, I got all the cockroaches and the weeds, huh? <laughs> That's no fun. Okay, I'm going to be a bit more loose with my shading I think I could probably do use a different type of layer filters but I quite like picking the colors myself having that kind of control with this with this type of style you know I don't think I've heard this music before this must be like 5 a.m where everything resets in Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh yeah, for anyone wondering, for anyone who's just tuned in, I'm painting um, Magic from the X-Men comic series, and I'm currently uh, streaming from my iPad Pro. <laughs> yeah, so I'm painting on the iPad Pro with the pencil. Um, this isn't a sponsor, <laughs> just letting you all know. <laughs> Imagine being sponsored by Apple. Goodness gracious. Yep, Angry Squirrel moved out and now I've got a Octavian, though, sad looking octopus, but lovely at heart. Also, I have no idea how you're doing what you're doing, but it's impressive and very satisfying. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, don't you have like, don't you have the other uh, marina? You have like two octopi now. That's adorable. I finished your marina, by the way. Emily also requested something for the six fan arts challenge, and I don't think I've put marina up, but I will. I will very soon. And thank you so much. Cool three. Oh my god. Oh, the octopi are wonderful. I love them so much. They are so cute. I love the elephants too. I really want to get Tia. So Tia is the cute little teapot elephant. She is just darling. Um and I really want her to live on my island. <laughs> And I'm glad you find this satisfying. That's really good news. This is all very sort of experimental. I'd be curious to sort of see if more people hop on, like if people do end up enjoying this and find it find it satisfying. Okay. Okay, we're doing okay, I think. Move her down here like that. I don't know if I'll finish her on this stream, but we will try. Oh, I think that is a bit too far out. I don't think we really need to see her ear at all, actually. That is. No. I think it is way too far out. I'll just cover it with hair. <laughs> I'll do that right now, actually.
What are you all drinking? I've got peppermint tea right now. I'm going to move the microphone away actually while I drink so you don't have to. <laughs> hear my gulping noises. <laughs> I need to remember to breathe through my nose when I'm using this type of microphone. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get used to that. Let's group all these together so it's easier for me to hide them and see what's going on. Okay. Tap water. Tap water. Do I sound like tap water? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, Emily, if you're still there, in case you're wondering, Blatant Void is Mike. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for coming in on your day off. That's so kind of you, honestly. I really appreciate it. Oh, sorry, I was... Oh. <laughs> sorry, honey. <laughs> I think if you just said water, I probably would have clocked it. But for some reason, the addition of tap, I was like... <laughs> and I guess maybe my nerves are kind of giving me horrible short-term memory. <laughs> tap water is tasty and nourishing. <laughs> Who needs that Fiji water, right? <laughs> okay, let's refine this a little bit more. Let's make this a little bit darker while we do some creases. I want them to look quite intense. Let's bring this to the front. There we go. Tap water. 
<laughs> Did you read that water? Hi. Oh, I love the, <laughs> love the, the squid. I could never draw noses when we had to do art at school. I actually couldn't draw anything, but I think that was my worst. <laughs> to be fair, noses are really hard. Um, I struggled with noses for ages, and I still kind of do. Um, but the thing with noses, people always have to remember, is noses will always look worse before they get better. And it helps to not see them as like a separate shape so you know how you kind of draw in your eyes and then you draw in lips and then they're sort of own shapes or their own features it helps to think of nose as just literally just a bump so only think in terms of shadows so um and that will help you get better at drawing noses from different angles so if you think of it in terms of shadows it becomes easier to form the shape and you kind of have to let it get worse before it gets better. I hope that made any sense, but that definitely helped me. Like get used to the noses and stuff. Sorry if I just start humming. If I get a bit too into it, I'll just start humming the music I'm listening to. And there's probably going to be like a bit of a delay. <laughs> it might actually help if I do this. There we go, that's better. I'll make her a little bit rosy. Just a smidge. I quite like making all my characters quite rosy. Okay, now I feel like I'm really getting in the groove now. Definitely. It'll probably take me a few streams to properly get used to this kind of format. But I think we can do it. I think it'll be quite fun. Quite fun and Funky fresh, <laughs> as one of my friends likes to say. Also, back to the thing with art. I bet you weren't that bad at art at all. You're very creative, Emily. Emily does really cool crafts. If you want to plug your Instagrams, feel free to go for it. Because I know you have a knitting one and you have a, a pen pal letter one, I believe. Which are very lovely. Very nice to look at. Feel free to plug them in the chat. They're very cool. Also, I don't think I don't think we teach art properly at schools. I think the art class is always quite nice, but like I don't know, I just feel like it needs to be a bit more patience, a bit more TLC with art at school, you know?
because a lot of times I think I think a lot of people just get written off as like oh if you don't show any artistic promise immediately then they're just kind of left to their own devices as opposed to like being properly trained if that makes any sense I'm probably just talking out of my my backside but A lot of the art um, I do, I basically taught myself up until in the last year when I actually had proper life drawing classes for, in my computer animation master's degree, which were amazing. I loved them so much. Um, I really miss those classes. They were great and they really helped me improve dramatically. Um, There's nothing quite like being able to draw from life and having someone take you through each part of the body and learning about anatomy, how people move, how they move in different environments. It really helps. It really helps add movement to a static image as well as your animations. <laughs> Also, if anyone is interested, I am open for commissions at the moment. I can do something in this sort of style, or you can have a scroll through my Instagram, which is jadeen underscore art, and see what kind of thing you like, and drop me a message. Um, they are paid, paid commissions, um, I should say. <laughs> and I'm also looking for full-time and part-time work as an animator, or a mod or a 3D modeler. I also enjoy doing concept art, storyboard art, um, 3D sculpting as well. So yeah, if you like what you see, hit me up on any of my social medias. Or I do have an email, which is jdningram at gmail.com, which I will actually put up on my profile because I don't think I have done yet. That shadow's a bit too dark. Let's try and see if we can get some more shape in on the hair. I'll try. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've not got any shape going on properly up here. Let's do that.
Let's do a slightly darker shadow up here. Draw the liners. Oh dear. Okay, not bad. Getting there. Let's get the shadows a bit more heavy here. I used to be way more anxious with like layering up colours, like la layering up colours. I used to kind of always think like, oh, I should just commit, <laughs> just commit to like three different tones. And I'm like, no, keep building, keep building on the skin, see how it goes. Get a, get a mood, get, oh, I haven't done a lot of detail in the chin, okay. Just keep building on the skin because skin has a lot of different... Does itself have a lot of layers? And um, sometimes you might not know what kind of lighting you want to go for either, so just keep going to town. Don't be afraid to just go nuts. That can be really hard when you're actually hand painting or using watercolours or acrylics. <laughs> <laughs> Digital art there isn't <laughs> there isn't a fear of like build up there. <laughs> In the same way that like acrylic paints does. You know? Okay. Let's try and sort this mouth out a little bit.
I'm sorry if this is making anyone dizzy. <laughs> I know some people who used to watch me over my shoulder, they used to say uh, it would make them feel very seasick. <laughs> Hello. Hi, red underscore Ryzen. Welcome to the drawing sesh. We are drawing magic from X-Men. And this is my first stream. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. gonna cook while I watch. BRB BF just came back from work. Cool. Awesome, that's great. I'm I'm really glad. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, feel free to just dip in and out whenever you want. Go with the flow. I barely ever do drawings where the mouth is slightly open, so this is new. <laughs> the mouth is either full committal closed or full committal open. <laughs> but no, we're mixing it up today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see. It's looking a bit grimy at the moment. So I'm going to start doing some highlights on this area. Oh no. Come on, pen, please work. If my pen ever runs out of battery, luckily, these um, pencils charge really quickly. So we could just leave it into charge for like 10 minutes while I just have a chat with you guys. That would be cool, but it should be fine. I should have it fully relatively fully charged hopefully <laughs> okay let's uh make the eyes pop a bit more i might do actually Go back to an ink pen. It's a bit too harsh.
like how you will do in down there. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, again, this is like a first stream, so it's fully. I'm fully like, uh, what do I say? Like, do I what do I do? <laughs> do I just do I just keep drawing? <laughs> I love drawing red lips, they're always really fun. I like mixing up colours, but red lipstick is always so much fun to draw and also to wear. I'm partial to a bit of red lipstick. I would have had a webcam on. Oh, got another comment. Uh, fave brush, and you great, so can't tell what you're using just yet, haha. <laughs> oh, um, so I'm really bad. I only use the flat brush and I'll use the studio pen for like outlines usually, but on this outline I use like a pencil. Um, but generally I'll just go between like the ink pen, the studio pen and the flat brush. Um, how about you? How, how's Procreate treating you? And also, how did you find me? Do I know you in real life? I do apologize if I don't recognize your username. Um, <laughs> And what kind of things do you like to draw? I'm sorry, I just like overloaded with a million questions there. But <laughs> the element brushes are also really fun and the lighting, the luminance brushes are really nice for good for touch ups and stuff. Salamance is my best boy. It's Nicole. I was third year uni with you, but hardly appeared. Oh, hey! Funny, it was, funny it was too nuts. Oh, hi, Nicole. Oh my gosh, thanks for tuning in. Salamanca is my best boy. Which one is Salamanca? I am... I barely remember the names of these guys. But, oh, I hope you're doing okay. How's, how's life after uni treating you? Yeah, final year was absolutely nuts. That was that was crazy. Um, and I fully respect you from <laughs> staying away from all the drama. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, uh, we did digital arts. Uh, did you do multimedia or did you do digital arts? I can't remember. Um, but I did digital arts at Kent University in the UK. And that degree was absolutely bonkers, but it was good fun. <laughs> I'm now doing a master's in computer animation, which is also very fun. Hmm.
Yeah, coming from using Photoshop and Paint Tool size since I was 11. Procreate is so nice. Yeah, it's so nice. Procreate is just wonderful. It's in the painting folder. And yeah, post uni, I'm way less anxious. Haha. <laughs> what other drama was there? I did digital art. Oh, cool. <laughs> just like render farm hog just just render farm hogging and like everyone just getting stressed about <laughs> all the modules just just standard stuff i probably shouldn't like go into anything <laughs> while i'm on like a live public stream but it was very stressful it was a stressful year but it was good fun it had its it had its good bits but yeah procreate is fantastic Kent dropped to 80 in the uni uh, list now. Kind of insane. Are you doing your master's in Kent then? Um, <laughs> yeah, so basically I went on to do computer animation um, straight after digital arts uh, at Kent Uni. So technically I should be finished by now. But because of the COVID stuff, <laughs> um, because of the COVID stuff, they offered us a three-month extension. And you bet... I definitely took that three month extension to work on this project. <laughs> but yeah, no, what are you what are you up to now? Yeah, to be fair yeah, to be fair, doing game design we didn't need that stuff. <laughs> game design sounded fun, but it sounded way too cramped. It felt like it needed like two modules. That's the trouble with digital arts. Everything was just packed into one module and you just did so much and so little of so much if that made any sense and it felt so overwhelming sometimes but I didn't know what I wanted to do so that's why I picked digital art I tortured myself <laughs> in that way and then I realized in final year oh I want to do animation <laughs> the thing I wanted to do when I was 12 nice <laughs> time is it oh my gosh time is flying that's insane are any of the teachers still there and yeah take what you can i'm working at pay by phone doing animation and landing page design that was so cool yeah jesus it was so cramped felt like i didn't get fully into anything but at least you have a broad skill set just in case skill set sorry i'm cooking too <laughs> No, that's awesome. I'm glad you're like cooking at the same time. That's really nice. Um, I was really, I was hoping that like people would kind of put this on in the background while they do like cooking and stuff. That's so cool. Congratulations. Um, yeah, it's very much a take what you can at this point <laughs> with the COVID stuff. <laughs> um, what else did you say? Yeah, that's the truth. That is true. Like I love what I loved about it was I was coming out with a broad skill set. So I was like. I felt like we were kind of prepped to go into pretty much anything in that subject matter. The only catch was like, I didn't, we didn't have like a full, full scale professional, um, like training, if that makes any sense. But it was nice. Like you could go into like web design, marketing, animation, film, photography, um, advertising. You had quite a pool of stuff you could go into, so that was really cool. Yeah, do you like, do you enjoy your job? I think we all came into digital arts because we didn't know what the fuck, what the, sorry, what the F to do, but visual shit. Yeah. Yeah, basically. That was basically my motivation. I like all visual arts. I like all digital arts. I don't know what I want to do. But I also want to be employable. What do I do? Digital art. <laughs> All 
are any of the teachers still there? Oh. Yes. Um. Well, actually, <laughs> I haven't been into the uni since the lockdown started. Um, and I and our teachers. Um. I don't know how much I should sh should say, but um. Yeah, I kind of, I'm not really sure, actually. I know a few teachers left while I was doing my postgraduate. I know Anya, um, Anya Bobrovitz, who was really cool. She retired. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I think a couple of teachers are leaving next year. But it was, it was a good, it was a good fun course. It's so weird being out of uni now. I kind of miss it. Like, I kind of... Like, I got a bit of, like, oh, I got a bit sad that I wasn't going back into uni in, like, a new year this year. <laughs> I'm still, like, dangling on the end of last year making my project. You know? It's stressful, and I don't have a mentor or anything, so I'm on my own, but coping well. Uh, check pay by phones, Instagram. <laughs> Plug your Instagram. Um, yeah, feel free to plug any Instagrams, any, any things in the chat. I don't miss final year, but I miss first year, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, I'm kind of the opposite. I don't miss first year, but I miss final year. <laughs> Do we have any other university peeps in the chat? Anyone that's currently there or is leaving? That university life is, is, it's an interesting time. I'm glad I did it. But it was definitely interesting. Oh, honestly, good luck with everything. I really, I, um, I really hope. I really hope. Uh, was it pay by phones? Pay by phones suits you well. Yeah, no, I don't know what's going on at the uni. I haven't really... I kind of just drifted off into my own little bubble when COVID started. I was like, right, I'm just going to finish my projects. <laughs> Bundle myself up at my desk and finish my animation projects. <laughs> and if any of you want to see any of my animations, I've posted a few on my YouTube channel, which I believe I've linked on my Twitch page. Um, if not, you could probably search for J.D. Ingram and you might be able to find it. And I post a few little animation tests occasionally on my Instagram, which is J.D. at, no, J.D. underscore art. Um, yeah. So feel free to check that out. I do apologise for anyone sticking around for a long time if I do end up my pre repeating myself. Um, that is that is apparently how these streams work. <laughs> it's how I how I keep plugging myself in the streaming. Oh, I had an art station notification. Okay, let's get the outline up again and see where we're at. Okay. Cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you. Dug that up part so especially now that I'm less interested in game design because modeling for games is disastrous. Oh my gosh. So how does that differ? So I've never really um thank you so much. I'm really glad you like the art style. I've tried to keep that up with my with my recent animations. Toon Shader is a lifesaver. Anyone need quick rendering time, use the Toon Shader. It is wonderful. Um so so what's modeling for games like? I take it you have to just like make sure it's fully optimized and minimal polygons because <laughs> um, I've only ever really modeled for film and we were trained like computer animation we've been trained to um, model and animate for tv and film so how does that how does that vary I'd be curious to know uh, 
Um, And no pressure, no pressure to answer immediately. I know you're cooking. <laughs> that goes for everyone watching. If I ask a question, um, just answer whenever you can. That's all good for me. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move on a bit. No cookies. Sorry, I need to look at more magic references. To get an idea on the colours I want to go for. It's mostly just blacks. And yellows. Ah, there we go. And a bit of red too. But... Okay, cool. I think I'll do blacks, yellows and reds. I'll do a mixture. Well, well, everyone, um, I'm still going to be on stream, don't worry, but I'm just going to switch to another screen just while I charge my, <laughs> while I charge my, my pen for a bit, because it's just gone down to 2%. Actually, no. We plow on. We continue. We use our fingies. <laughs> um... Rigging just needs a very specific naming convention. The way that Unreal and Unity perceive direction and transforms is different to Maya. I imported a model and it didn't exist in the scene and there was no error message. Turns out the normals weren't using the math that Unreal uses. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> that sounds, yeah, that sounds like, that sounds like an ache. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever, I'll ever, um, I'll ever be able to do anything like that. Uh, it's made me so peed that I've switched to Blender, which works incredibly well with Polygate. Oh, really? That's cool. And Blender is free as well, so that works out nicely. I've not tried Blender. I really should. Blender looks really cool. I know what I'll do. I'll use my fingers for a bit and then I'll take a little five minute break, charge up my stylus and then I'll hop back on. I think I'll do that in a bit. Blender is so nice. I encourage you. Amazing free YouTube tutorials out there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. 100% going to try that someday. Once my once my project is over, I'll definitely look have a look into it. But for now, Maya is my baby. <laughs> but thank you. I'll definitely I'll definitely check it out. Okay, let's finish this hair properly because I've missed bits of the hair. Which is starting to confuse me. Here we go. So I don't normally do outlines in these sort of sketchy pencil sketches. And I don't think I'll ever do it again because it's very untidy. It's fun at the time, but when you're going to colour it in, it makes it very confusing. The music has stopped. Oh well, I'll leave it for a second. I'll restart it in a bit. I just want to get this hair finished. Do, 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 do. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Blender and Autodesk Maya are two um, pieces of 3D modeling and animation 
software. Does Blender, I guess Blender does VFX, some sort of special effects VFX as well. Um, Blender's free. Um, you can get it for free. I believe you can get commercial license for it for free, which is really cool. Autodesk Maya, the commercial license is thousands upon thousands of pounds. Um, I'm currently using the education version. Um, and I'm not making any money off of it yet, Autodesk, I promise. <laughs> maybe I'll um maybe I'll stream some sculpting as well. That might be quite cool. It might be a bit overwhelming for my computer though. But maybe one day I'll I'll stream some sculpting. As I really enjoy it, it's really fun. And I'd probably be able to do sculpts um quicker than paintings like this. So has compositing as well. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Go Blender. I should really, I should really get into it. Ooh, I might, uh, color is a tail. It's like, okay, no, work my way down. Don't get too excited. I'm just going to work my way down. <laughs> um, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in, everyone who's here. I really appreciate it. This is so cool and so nice of you. Um, but yeah, of course, there's no there's no pressure to be here all the time or every week. Just hop in whenever you feel like it, you know? I really appreciate it. It's nice to catch up. It's nice to catch up with you, Nicole, as well. Like, that's really, that was a really nice surprise. Um... Once you go Blender, you never go back. <laughs> you can always try ZBrush free, as it's really easy on PC hardware. Oh yeah, ZBrush. ZBrush is also grand. I've not, I've not tried that either. Um, oh my gosh, am I never gonna go back to Maya if I use Blender? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Maya and I have built up such a relationship together. <laughs> She's open all the time on my computer. She's not open now, otherwise this wouldn't work. <laughs> I quite liked having the Animal Crossing music on. I think I will. Uh... Maya using you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's um, it's a very it's a very rocky relationship. <laughs> I enjoy mud books though. I enjoy mud books a lot. And I recently got into Substance Painter, um, which was incredibly cool. Um, but my textures are usually quite simple, so um I haven't really gone too far into it, but like it's so cool. It's very cool. I think Adobe own substance now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's monopolizing on 3D software. <laughs> But someone is. Do, 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 do. Okay, how are we doing? We're doing okay. We are doing okay. It looks a bit odd with the <laughs> completely shaded in face and the <laughs> block colour, rest of the stuff. But I like to sort of get an idea of the type of shadows and highlights by just like committing to the face first and then doing everything else later which is probably not good practice but it's okay we learned the rules so we can break them okay I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do like a red um corset I guess that's what this would be called <laughs> Or a bodice, or a, a corset. I'll go with corset. Oh, it paused the video. Yeah, let's do some classic Animal Crossing music, shall we? Uh -huh. 
substance disease, but yeah, I tend to do most in the shaded nose. I tend to block everything out first. I find that I don't. I find that if I don't, my shapes are wrong. Yeah, that's a good. Um, that's definitely a really good tactic. Much more sensible. Um, <laughs> Usually, sometimes I'll block out first, it depends, but today I was, but I usually like to sort of get, get an idea of the shadows and highlights as quickly as I can, you know? But sometimes, depending, if I'm doing a more cartoony style or like simplistic style, I will block out everything first. Um, like with the witch series on my Instagram, that was all blocked out first. Okay, let's bring it down here like this. Oh, I should, um, oh no. Oh yeah, no, I have. I was gonna say, <laughs> I thought I'd given her a really tiny waist, but no, there's a, there's a, color it in there. That's better. That's more my style. <laughs> I think I've made her a bit thicker than this character normally is, but that's generally what I end up doing with all of my fan art. <laughs> I accidentally make them a bit a bit thicker. Um, I just find it that's quite fun. I find it quite fun, you know. The arm shape is interesting. I don't know what I was going for there. Maybe if I just colour it in like that. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, maybe I will just block out the rest of it. I think I will do that. Yeah. Just get an idea of... Ooh, I think I'll do, like... I'll make these the same colour as the horns, yeah. On the... Make the spikes on the pauldron the same colour as the horns. That'll be quite fun. How how are we doing for time? Okay, I think at half seven, I will hop off just for five minutes and then I'll come back. So I can charge up my stylus again. My gosh, it's been years since I last draw, <laughs> drew with my fingers. <laughs> It is not the same.
gosh, I really wish I hadn't have done such a scratchy <laughs> line art on this particular piece. And I did this line art like four or five months ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I really, I really messed myself over here. But it's a good fun challenge. <laughs> we can do this. It's gonna be okay. What was that? I just got a notification. I think someone just so followed me. <laughs> nice. Look, actually. Oh, yeah, Laws just followed me. Thank you, Laws. Um, how have you managed to kill off your pen that quickly? I know. I. <laughs> I didn't charge it fully before hopping on stream. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I was prepared for everything, but I only charged it a bit. I didn't charge it fully. Um, <laughs> but this pen gets a lot of usage, so its battery life is slowly, slowly getting worse. <laughs> what time is it? How are we doing? Cool. Then. Cool. I'll charge it up again in like 10 minutes. Doesn't take too long to charge. I need to be more prepared. I was prepared for everything. I had like everything set up and lo and behold, my stylus wasn't fully charged. Even though it would have literally only taken 15 minutes to fully charge, I think, because they're pretty neat like that. I have the iPad with the magnetic pen charger and it's a godsend. Oh my gosh, the magnetic pen charger. I <laughs> I have to like put it in. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Um I have to like put it in at the end so it like sticks out <laughs> awkwardly. <laughs> I need to find my little converter so I can just plug it into a wire. But I've lost it. I need to find it. It's definitely in a drawer somewhere. But oh my gosh. Magnetic charger. Sounds amazing. How are we doing? Let's do the tail. No, let's do the... Let's finish the hands. Van braces. That's what the van brace. That's what they're called. The art. Uh, the uh, forearm guards or shields. Uh, van braces <laughs> or van brace. Van brace. Yeah, we do have. Give her red gloves. I think. Just lock in her hands there. We'll, we'll cross that bridge another time, I think. Oh, why have I drawn that? There we go. How are we doing? Um, are her legs exposed? Or, or did I intend to... Ah, yeah, they're exposed. Um... <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was gonna armor them or not, but now nah, we'll expose them. 
Because why not? Sometimes we enjoy form over function in this house. Masters finishing present, maybe. Yes, I will have to. <laughs> I will have to flutter my eyelashes at everyone I know. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and, uh, hi, uh, sorry I'm late. This is looking great. Thank you, Loz. Don't worry. It's no problem. It, it, there's no pressure, because these, these aren't very fast-paced streams. Like, these are probably designed for hopping in and hopping out, you know? Or for people who specifically enjoy these types of things. <laughs> so, no, it's okay. I know you guys are very busy as well. You've been traveling all sorts. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. I'm really bad at this streaming thing, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. One stream at a time. So does magic normally have, yes, hair on her legs? Yes, it's, it's brown. It's darker than her head hair. Cool. No, genuinely, the iPad Pro was itself just a godsend. Um, I got really lucky, actually. Um... My IT teacher at my school, who was amazing, he was really supportive um, at my school, and he always just really, like, it wasn't even his job, and, and he always really helps me out a lot with, like, my visual needs and stuff, particularly when it came to assistive technology, and um, he, he accidentally bought the Space Gray iPad Pro um, without cellular functionality and he always buys it with cellular so he says he said to me I will sell this to you for cheaper and I was like oh that's great but I don't think I can afford it right now and my mum was like yeah I don't think you can afford it right now and then like behind <laughs> and then, like she secretly for my birthday um paid him for it and he bought it to me with this massive bow when I was at school one day it was amazing um so I've had this iPad for like five years now um he put like a big purple bow on it and gave it to me in one of my classes it was really nice <laughs> he was very cool he was a very cool IT teacher um oh oh my gosh sorry guys I've missed some of the chat uh you can use the iPad as a graphics tablet and sculpt a mud box oh my gosh I just realized but I got a Windows PC oh my gosh I need to look into that that's amazing uh, bling up the shoulder pads. Yes, I absolutely will bring up the shoulder pads. Oh, hello, Jasmine. Hearty gnome four. Hello, my lovely. Looks amazing, obviously, as you've done it. And oh, that's so cute. <laughs> he went viral earlier this year adapting the Switch controller for his daughter. Yeah, you may have seen that video. He adapt. Uh, so his name is um, Rory Steele. He's Jersey IT guy on Twitter, and he went viral earlier before the pandemic started. Um, because he made an adaptive switch controller for his daughter, who has a physical uh, motor condition. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, and she has a YouTube channel as well, um, where she plays like games and stuff. It's very sweet. Hello, Jasmine. Hi, Loz. Thank you guys for coming, and you're very, very lovely. And thank you. It's it's getting there. <laughs> This will this one will, might take a few streams. <laughs> um But yeah, no, he was Mr. Steele was very cool and I hope he's doing okay. Um, oh my gosh, this sword. What did I I'm okay, I'm not gonna do the sword yet. I'm just gonna leave the sword maybe for another stream I'm just gonna focus on her right now because I've completely forgotten what colors I was gonna go 
which type of sword I was going to do. She has quite a few swords, by the looks of things. I'm drawing... Oh, by the way, um, for everyone just tuning in, I'm drawing Magic, who's a character from the X-Men comics, for Mike. And this is my very, very delayed six fan arts challenge submission. <laughs> and Mike had requested this drawing years and years ago, and I'm finally getting around to doing it. <laughs> Um, and thank you all for tuning in. That's really kind of you. I'm going to sit here lurking. Latin has sort of killed my brain, so I'm simultaneously watching your raw talent and attempting to kill people on Apex. <laughs> to get my anger out, lol. She's stunning and I wish I looked like her. Babe, honey, you are beautiful. And... I hope that ang I hope you're able to get your anger out on Apex <laughs> effectively. Um, Jasmine also does streams. She does streams every Monday at the moment, and she streams Apex. Um, her channel is Hearty Gnome Four. If you guys fancy following her, and she also does um, is raising money for I believe it's a <gasps> I've forgotten the specific charity, but it's for meningitis, right? It's a meningitis charity. Um, and she's currently making like face masks and pillows. And she'll do, she's done the occasional charity stream, which has been really fun. So yeah, go check her out. She's very, very cool. Jasmine Hart 99 on Twitter. No, Instagram. Feel free to plug all of your stuff in the chat. I haven't disabled links yet. Oh, I should really do the leg hair brown, actually. But yeah, no, feel free to just quietly lurk. That's all good, my dear. <laughs> you do what you need to do. I hope this um, helps you chill out. I hope so. <laughs> I'm crossing music in the background. Okay. I'm just going to go top up my water. I'll be back and charge my charge my pencil a little bit but I will be right back and I hope you enjoy the little music for the time being I'll probably be back in a couple of minutes <laughs> 